Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Philly Cuts with a special Beer with the Cuts. I haven't done this series in a long time. I think the last time I did it was actually about Nintendo. It was about the last issue of Nintendo Power. Well, this has been a seance in a sense. I have the beer. It's Magic Hat Seance Saison. I'm not going to review it. This is just the beer that I'm going to be drinking while I'm going to be talking about this, which is a big purchase for me that I'm really excited about and happy to share with you guys. I will be reviewing this beer in a later uh, Philly Cuts beer review. So all you guys, especially you guys over at Pixelbit, who I love, stay tuned for that review, and I hope that you join me for this beer with the cuts. Uh, I'm not going to be unboxing this here. This is going to be for my next video. I basically want to talk about why I decided to finally uh, get a Wii U. Here's the deal, man. I was kind of like reminiscing about Nintendo the other day. And I was going through the internet, and I realized that, holy cow, they're coming out with a remake of Wind Waker. And I did have Wind Waker for the GameCube. I did have a GameCube uh, console. That was my console of choice during that era, during the era of, you know, the Xbox One and PS2. Uh, it was a console that I was glad that I had. I always loved Nintendo. Prior to that, though, prior to the GameCube, I was always uh, a Sega guy. I actually had a Sega Saturn, and then before that, I had a Sega Genesis, and lots of my friends had the Super Nintendo, so I was always over you know, at their houses and stuff playing the Super Nintendo and stuff, but I was always a Genesis guy. So I just kind of started to reminisce about all the great franchises, you know, all the great IPs of Nintendo, you know, Zelda, Metroid, Mario, all that stuff, Kirby, Super Smash Bros. Melee, all that stuff, Star Fox. So I know that right now for the Wii U, lots of that stuff isn't out yet, but I think it's going to come. It's going to come shortly, and it's going to come quickly in the next year, I think, or two. So, I got this because basically I went online, did a search, saw that this was online and available at my local Best Buy. The bundle, okay, now here's a big reason too why I got this. I've been thinking about getting an Xbox One or a PS4. However, all the pre-orders for those consoles right now are done. You can't pre-order it anywhere. Maybe once in a while... Amazon might say, oh, we have a few more pre-orders, but you know how that goes unless you're, you know, actively scoping that stuff out and on the prowl for that to happen, you're not going to get it. And I just don't have the time anymore. You know, I'm working, uh, you know, got my career started and I just, I can't, I don't have the time to, to look for it or the energy. I found that this came out actually yesterday. Today's September 21st. This came out on the 20th for $300, and it's for the deluxe version. Now, when the deluxe version originally came out back in, what, February of uh, 2012, is it now already? Uh, this It came with um, Nintendo Land, which, you know, is a party game. I'm not really into party games that much, uh, for $350. Bucks. So, confirmed, Nintendo did the $50 price drop. You can get this for 300 bucks with a digital download of Wind Waker HD, 1080p HD. I am kind of upset that it is a digital download. I don't know yet how big the download is. Um, it may worry me because this is only a 32 gigabyte hard drive. And I believe that it isn't even a full 32 gigabytes because you everybody knows that when you get a console that space is already taken up on it for all the, you know, bloatware and other stuff that's on there as well. So I'm imagining that this is probably going to be, what, 28, 27 gigabytes, really? So I'll have to see, but here it is. I'm going to get more up close and personal with this on the unboxing, so I hope you enjoy, enjoy it. But I, I basically got stuff today for a steal, okay, for a new console. Now, I know that it's not going to be graphically as powerful or have the same capabilities as the Xbox One or the PS4. But I've decided, I decided, you know what? I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out because right now, if you're a first adapter, just like you were for this, for the PS4 and the Xbox One, you're just going to be paying such a premium 
and such a big price to get started that I just I just don't see myself doing it yet. I'm going to do a wait and see approach. I think I'm going to wait probably about a year, see how it plays out for each one of the consoles, and then I'll make my decision. So in the meantime, I decided to help Nintendo out, jump on Nintendo, because I got to all this stuff here after tax, okay? I live in New York State. I live in upstate New York, Albany, New York. We have an 8% sales tax here. I got all this stuff, three games, four games if you include, you know, the Wind Waker. And I got a, a Pro Controller as well. I got all this stuff for 428 bucks. okay? I'm going to show you guys what I got because there's always going to be someone who says, Oh, I don't believe you. No way. So here's what I got, and these games are all brand new, okay? I got Mass Effect 3 for $11.99, as you can see. Batman Arkham City, $29.99, new. Zombie U, brand new, $20. I got a deal on the Pro Controller. It's normally $50. I got it for $35. Then, as you can see, for the Zelda Deluxe console, $300 with the Zelda game. Okay? So, grand total, it would have been... Under $400, okay, without the tax. As you can see, there's $31.76 in tax. $428.71 for four brand new games and a brand new Wii U console. In my mind, that's a steal. Now, you may say, well, Philly, you know, all these games are old and... You know, they're just ports. Well, you know, that may, that's true. I'll give you that. The games were already out for a while before they even came to the Wii U. But for me, I haven't played these games yet. Like, I'm a Mass Effect fan. But I was going through grad school, you know, when Mass Effect 3 came out. I just, I never would have had the time. So I decided to get it, you know. And for, what, $12? Brand new? And plus, another big reason why I bought this is because it's going to incorporate, you know, the Wii U pad, the game controller quite you know extensively from what i hear there's maps that show up on it you can map out your you know bionic abilities and things of that nature also the same thing with arkham city also big time incorporation of the touchpad as well so it's kind of like you know a new experience i did play this game a little bit on my brother's ps3 he had the game but i'm really looking forward to trying it out and having you know things at the touch of at the touch of the touchpad if you will and Zombie U, which did get mixed reviews, but also has some unique touchpad capabilities where you actually hold up the Wii U gamepad and you scan stuff up on the screen and things of that nature. Your map, you got to go into backpacks and it will show up on the screen. So for 20 bucks for that, I mean, come on, man. It'd be crazy for me not to do it. I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I waited to get this. I knew that I was going to get it sometime soon. The price was right for me now. Not only do you get a digital download of the game, but you also get a digital download of Hyrule Historia, which is basically a book that kind of shows you how they design Zelda characters and Zelda folklore. And it's a digital edition. So that's going to be cool too. Maybe I'll throw up a video of that, show you guys what that looks like online. I'll probably do an unboxing of the Pro Controller as well. Uh, so if, if anyone's interested in buying this now... If you're in the United States, check out Best Buy right now because the prices are just insane. I also could have gotten, if I wanted, um, Black Ops 2 for 20 bucks and Assassin's Creed 3 for 20 bucks, which maybe I will down the road. I'm going to be keeping my eyes open and will probably buy, um, you know, new Super Mario Brothers Wii U if that goes down in price. Unfortunately, everywhere I look so far in my area, it's still 50 bucks. Also, Pikmin 3. Uh, when that goes down in price, I'll probably bite on that. So the good thing is, is that because my time is limited, I don't devour games the way I used to. Um, these four games are going to basically take me forever to play and finish. So I will be so occupied with this in the meantime that I'm not even going to be thinking about the consoles, the new consoles at launch. I won't feel disappointed because I'll have this. And probably by the time I get done with these games, you know, Pikmin 3, and I'm sure there'll be deals for new Super Mario Bros. Wii U too. Uh, I hope you guys will join me later to uh, view the unboxing. Uh, this actually has a special 
limited edition controller as well for the um, for the gamepad. I guess it has some nice gold trim and stuff around the gamepad, which is going to be pretty cool. And, you know, I'll have all nice close-up shots when I unbox this uh, in my next video. So what do you guys think? I mean, is anyone kind of in the same situation as me? Is anybody thinking about getting a Wii U and hasn't yet? Maybe this will sweeten the deal. Or do you have you just lost total confidence in Nintendo and just think that Nintendo can't recover? I say it's only been a little over a year in the console's you know lifespan. I think that Nintendo still has time to turn it around. Now, are they going to dominate the big three of the of the big consoles? I don't think so. They'll always have that handheld market. I don't know. I'm just thinking. I got all this stuff for 428 bucks. If I were to, you know, buy, say, an Xbox One, which is just $500 in the United States with no games included, um, and if I were to buy four games at 60 bucks a pop and to get another controller as well, I mean, you're talking like you, 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 I'm going well into the $800 range, $900 when it's all said and done with to get the amount of material that I got here. Now, I know, I know, apples and oranges, you know, new graphics, better stuff. But hey, I'm happy with what I got for what I paid. I'm going to be really looking forward to trying out Zombie U. I'm going to be really looking forward to trying out Wind Waker HD and even the other two games I got because it's going to be a new experience playing a Mass Effect on that touchpad. I think it's going to be really cool. I like the fact that I can take the pad too and, and play it in my bedroom if I want, if I don't want to hang out here in my living room, and I could actually take it with me to bed and play it like I do my uh, PS Vita, which I love as well. All right, guys, sorry if this has been a little long-winded. I'm just real excited. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to edit this video. I probably won't edit it very much at all. But uh, I'm glad that you were able to share my excitement. And I'm going to be unboxing this right after I upload this video. All right, guys. It's been Philly Cuts. Beer with the cuts. Let me know what you think. Have you decided which generation console you're going to get this time? Are you going to go Wii U, PS4, or Xbox One? Now all three are going to be out very shortly. Let me know what you're going to do. Peace.